my name is Aiden. And I have a disability called cerebral palsy, which basically means my muscles don't work as well as they should. That leaves some challenges. I'm a senior at North Carolina. I'm about to graduate. Aiden's just an amazing, uh, amazing guy. Magnetic personality, people are drawn to him. Um, but uh, because of his disability, he, he, sometimes he's hard to understand. You have to pay close attention to him. When he was younger, we definitely wanted him to be involved with friends, and that was as, you know, a mom, you know, setting up play dates and things like that, that was easier to pull off. Once he hit middle school and high school, that's not really how that works anymore. You know, the, the students sort of initiate their own social interactions. And um, I think the challenges are greater now, but we were not afraid to let him go. We wanted that for him. And, you know, we wanted him to experience the kind of things that, that we had experienced. I think one of the coolest things to see a group of young men, you know, coming up through high school, um, be able to interact with Aiden and Aiden interact with the group. From outside looking in, sure, you might see differences, but when you're on the inside, there are no differences. They're all friends, they all hang out at school, and they're all going through the same struggles. I'd say my first impression of him was just kind of like, I don't know, he's just like this, um, like happy all the time. Like Aiden's like, he's never disappointed. It was just like, wow, like, this kid's really courageous, you know? He's open with everyone. I mean, by the first time you meet him, he, he's very open and he treats you like a friend, even if you don't know him. When he speaks up in group, everybody quiets down and, and leans in. And so his words have weight. Talking with him is like talking with a grown adult. Like he, he knows. Like, he is sure in his faith, and he is a role model in our small group. He is someone we look up to, all the guys look up to. They've really formed a community amongst themselves for other groups to look at them and say, hey, I want our group to be like that group when we're seniors. I want to be that close. I want to be that invested. That's, that's the impact that I think they've left. We know when we drop him off at Inside Out each week that he's going to a place where he is loved and is accepted and he's able to pursue his relationship with God, you know, just like everybody else that's there. Small group, I think, has made a world of difference for Aiden. Uh, that's really where uh, his best friends have, have come from. We have seen, you know, just incredible spiritual growth from Aiden. Aiden has this uh, connection with his Heavenly Father uh, that is so special. He came this year and told me, he was like, do you think I could be a youth pastor? And, um, and he was like, because I, I don't know, I can't really get up and like speak the way that you speak. And I think what I would want Aiden to know is um, that he already is in the way that he loves and he cares for um, the guys in his group, the way that he prays for them, the way that he leads with conversation, the way that he asks questions. He's been one of the best pastors that I know. This class is very special. I'm really proud and honored to know you guys for the past four years. You guys will achieve amazing things if you just keep Working at it and remember that God has it. God always has your back and if you trust in Him, let Him take control of your life. You can do amazing things.